was up for people. How's everybody doing this final evening? Yeah. Uh, let's talk to this EJ. This is the planet where we landed. Habitat 7. It wasn't even close to livable. That's been true of every world we found. Ryder, we were discussing your next expedition. Good. I was starting to wonder who was in charge of them. Director Addison is entitled to her opinion, and mine overrules hers. Does she know that? I oversee the entire initiative, and I have decided to give you a chance to prove yourself. To that end, the score is dealt as a serious blow. Whatever it is, the Placing bets on people is part of my job. Some of them pay off. Others... Just point me to my ship and I'll be out of here. They're prepping it now in the docking bay. The coordinates for EOS will be in the computer. And when you have a moment, we should discuss the missing arcs. I was wondering about that. Ah. Something wrong? Ryder, KC, me and Sam are on the Hyperion. Your impart needs attention, and we need to discuss a confidential matter. No, I'm fine. Technically, wouldn't Ryder be in charge because he's the Pathfinder? Hello Scott, welcome back to Sam Mood. I've adjusted my connection to your implant. The headache you experienced before shouldn't reoccur. Yeah, what was that about? You said we need to discuss something confidential. You should know certain facts before you leave on your expedition. It seemed best to speak alone. I don't understand the need for secrecy. Your father felt it was for the best. What was he trying to hide? My true capabilities. Alec overrode the implant safety protocols. It allows me unrestricted access to the Pathfinder's physiology. And that's... me, now. And only you. I can act as a force multiplier, dramatically enhancing your motor and neural skills when required. Alec called them profiles. They provide unique, tactical augmentation during combat. Your father preferred to keep this fact to himself. I can understand. People might get the wrong idea. Super soldiers. A computer having control over a human. Providing an enhancement to the human. It is a symbiotic relationship that benefits both. What do you get out of it? Though I'm artificial in design, I am fully sentient. Far beyond. I, I am a new form of AI, drawing directly from the human experience. Your implant is my window into the world. Okay. Well... The only pain is that which life provides. As I've discovered, I find myself... You can... But not without... Perhaps in the...
find her. Captain Dunn said he will find her. Your father's first sidearm, a memento of his early Alliance service. I bet that saw plenty of action. Alex's first kill occurred in combat during the First Contact War. Back when Turians were the enemy. Crazy times. I'm taking that. Let's come over with me. Sam? What was that? The An identic trigger. Really? <laughs> the coffee machine Mom got for Dad. He was so busy designing you, needed the caffeine. I did not realize I owed my existence to a bean. And now you know what humility feels like. <laughs> Ryder, the blocks your father placed on my array are opening. I can now recall specific memories which Alec wanted you to see. Wait, I can actually see his memories? Yes, you will experience them via your implant. Okay, something new every day. Let's see it. This memory is from the time when your father was posted on the Citadel. Alec, your recommendations will never fly. Artificial intelligence? It's our best option. If the Council gets wind of this, it'll set humanity standing back decades. You're overreaching. Ambassador Goyle, I'm the military attaché on the Citadel. My mandate is clear. Find an edge for Earth. And AI is your answer? We need to catch up. The Asari, the Salarians, they're centuries ahead of us. But it's illegal. Their rules, not ours. Why deny Earth an advantage? Define this advantage. It will set us free. We're prisoners of our own five senses. There's a reality greater than ours that we can't perceive. But an AI? Can. How? By augmenting our own abilities and adding a few new ones. Well, none of that stopped those Geth from revolting. Because they were separate from their creators. But AIs and humans interface directly, experiencing the world together benefits both. It's not wrong. There's no creator to revolt against. I'm sorry, Alec. We can't take the risk. <laughs> Ellen. There's no cure. Alec was a stubborn man. I would hope it would seem. Okay, I'll keep working on him. Let's get to the ship. Ready to see what Tan gave us? I hear it's something special. Pathfinder en route. How's the ship? In final checks, looking great. We won't be long. The way things are going, we'll be on our own out there. In other words, we're making this up as we go. <laughs> we used to call that tactical improvisation. But at least we'll be doing it in style. Oh. They call her the Tempest. <laughs> Look at that gorgeous ship. Oh. I'm gonna need some help for this. Let's go take a closer look. Let's pick it up a bit, people. We're 14 months late. So you're the one who's making everything happen. I'd say we're 14 months ahead of schedule. Vetra. Vetra Nix. 
Initiative Wrangler, Provisioner, Gunner, and everything in between. Are we ready? The sooner we get out of here, the better. You're coming with us? Yes. Otherwise, there's no way they're letting this ship off the station. Now yeah, let's get out of here. Yeah. Let's go see the rest of Helios. Hold it, hold it. You're not going anywhere. Damn it. I didn't do it. Whatever happened, it wasn't me. I just got here. Director Addison wants to see a complete report of the Tempest supplies, munitions, and crew. Director no. Tan overruled Addison. The ship's loaded out with equipment for outpost. I know. It's done. Addison's gonna kill me. Nicely done. Part of the job, Pathfinder. All things considered, it was an easy ask. And right now, you need people tearing down obstacles, not putting up more. Finally, someone who agrees. Finally, someone who cares about doing stuff and not just talking about it. Everything state of the art. Labs, sensors, exploration gear. Lesser crew, of course. The best in their field. Glad to see you're doing so well, Scott. The engine core is based on the Ark's Odyssey drive. It runs a hell of a lot quieter. That's Gil Brody. Engineer, mechanic, all around wrench jockey. We call this the research room. There's space for upgrading equipment, gathering intel. Router engaged. Securing connection to Tempest. Welcome aboard, Sam. And Ryder, of course. All run by Suvi Anwar, our science officer. Your quarters are below. Plenty of space that we can get everyone sounds together. Muslim. It's all yeah, yours. Eastern. She's light, stealthy, and the fastest ship in her class. This could be fun. <laughs> it's really going to be something, isn't it? I haven't even shown you the best part. When you're ready to fly, head over to the bridge. Our pilot should have everything good to go. Better head to the bridge when we're ready to go. We call this the research room. You can run research projects and coordinate with the Nexus from here. This console reports on the militia's current strike team missions, Pathfinder. Please speak with Tyrion Candrus for authorization to participate. I'll do that later. Departure trajectory locked, Nexus Control. Ah, time for introductions. You must be Ryder, Gallo Jaff. A pleasure to be here, and to meet you, of course. I'll be piloting the Tempest at your word. Quite the ship, but it'll take a Pathfinder's guidance to see us through Helios. Plenty of dangers out there, but I'll do my best to avoid them. That's reassuring. Wouldn't want to lose my finest work to that angry cloud. I was test pilot for the Tempest's early prototypes. I admit, I'm itching to see how she performs out here. So how do I... The console sings I with your input. Said Just swipe, in the earlier, touch a destination here, the and the nav system calculates Mass Effect everything. Legendary edition. Mm. It was that optimized really hate. for a Pathfinder. Everything's secure, if you're ready. Eat. Is so anyone ready, ready for something this big? We signed on for the but big stuff. But there's one I do like. That is Kyle. All right. He's awesome. Excuse me. Excuse me. Command access is transferring successfully. Uh, science and monitoring stations look fun. This is it, Ryder. The Tempest is yours. Unless you've got something to say. Things seem bad. You know. Nexus control.
Tempest. As much as I like the Tempest, Tempest. It's, it's no Normandy. Pathfinder. You can't replace Normandy. That ship was one Should of a kind. What would have been our habitat one? Two failed outposts put an end to the idea. Maybe we can turn things around. Callow, take us in. System Pythias. Andromeda Initiative Habitat One. Designated Eos. It was supposed to be an easy first step. Until no one else showed, and we got clobbered. Twice. Why has Sam altered frequency detection? What are we hearing, Sam? There is a signal, Pathfinder. I recommend an immediate examination of EOS. Callow, all right? Integrating search area from Sam. How he pulled that mystery signal through the storms, I have no idea. Multi-sensory neural collation. Amazing. Factory fresh across the board. Spinning up the compensators. You're already tuning the displays. We'll get a better read on this pass than the Nexus has had in months. People have. Oh, sorry. You okay? I think I'm still messed up by what happened. There hasn't been much. No. Pathfinder? Cool. There. Set us down at this nav point. planet suffers deadly storms that are contaminated by radiation from the scourge. EOS deployment was incomplete. Looks like salvage. New. Days ago now. Who else is here? They must have known. It's inoperable, Pathfinder. Pathfinder, that door is locked. Until power is restored, there is no way to unlock it or gain entry to these buildings. getting emergency power but it's code locked site one issued individual security codes each outpost self-organizes and sets its own protocol just say we can't open it without codes we can't open it without codes got a code lock key that should help get us in we suffered our first death today Storm came out of nowhere. Lockley tried to cover our cops.
I got a partial log, but I can't turn on the antenna. Something's blocking the power. A remote lock is active. The interference originates from a nearby power relay tower. Let's check out this relay tower. Look at this place. It's a wasteland. The radiation in Eos's atmosphere makes it difficult to cultivate life. Radiation? Our suits protect against that, right? Site 1 contains shield masts to dampen the brunt of contamination. Structure up ahead. Sam? It fits the profile of a power relay station, Pathfinder. Right. We get it running, maybe buildings get power. And we get a line on that signal. Salvage. This spot's taken. So you're a cell? Clancy. Making it on. The Nexus just can't let Eos come. I'm tracking a signal that will help. Look, I cut the power for a... You turn the power relay back on, they'll know there's a juicy target alive down. Help me with the... Expect trouble when we start the generator. There's an error in the startup sequence. Manual input required. Damn it. Please scan one of the pylons to determine a hackable input location. Generator is active. Sam, our friend Clancy, was he part of the outpost team here? No, Pathfinder. According to Nexus records, he's stationed in the hangar bay. So he's what? Playing hooky? Or he's a part-time salvager. Here's something else that makes me laugh. Really? Ryder? Yeah, really. We've got company. I prefer this one because it allows you to do more stuff. It pretty much allows you to use your mind to fly. Use the jump jet in the way it does. Like this? Ready for activation, Pathfinder. Word of advice. All right. Shuttles aren't fun in these winds. You need wheels. We're heading to our shuttle. Keep this up. Maybe next time we'll find more than just salvage around here. Go on. I guess... Power restore code. The structure appears almost identical to the one your father used to adjust... Oh. 
Now the power is restored, we can investigate the nearby buildings. Research was always key to the initiative. Sup. The research station is back online. Special requisition, all-terrain scout rover. A Nomad, six-wheel drive, jump jets, just what you need. The initiative only built a few. This must be what Clancy meant. The crate requires an access code from a forward station. Forward stations act as emergency resupply checkpoints. Several are currently in orbit. I can call one down. Let's find a good spot. Activating automated forward station deployment. Wait, did I get them already? Yes, I did. This is being weird. Looks like the forward station supplies are intact. Downloading Nomad Crate access code. Okay, you found that before. Levels have spiked to Pathfinder. Ah, can't get traction. It's too steep. Switch to six wheel drive. It'll get you up there in a snap. Got it. Signal's coming from that structure up ahead. Radiation within safe levels.
I'm picking up initiative tech nearby, from above us. I see it. Up on that piece with the scaffolding. It's slippery, but there's a great view! Could be crazy enough to carry heavy equipment up there. Maybe. Too sophisticated. I think that's enough. Building connection. I apologize for any discomfort. The system seems unstable. This is what happened when my dad tried doing this? Your father interfaced directly with the atmosphere processor. That proved extremely hazardous. These structures could reveal its control center. System remains unstable. Doubling our power input might accelerate the process. I'll give it a shot. Wait! Back off, or I will put you down! Whoa! Easy. You've come this far. Just let it ride. I've yeah, been this studying this tech for months. I don't know how you activated those glyphs, but you have to let them cycle through their channels. It's going to be all right. Trust me, okay? I know, I know. Who am I? I mean, it's obvious who you are. I saw the ship swoop in. You're a pathfinder. I was beginning to think the initiative just made you guys up so the rest of us wouldn't lose hope, but you're for real, huh? Maybe you want to knock me down a couple more times to make sure. No, that's okay. You're obviously corporeal. Well, system has stabilized. Oh crap. I know these things from Habitat 7. Later. Just take them out. First tangle with the remnant was a lot messier. The remnant? These monoliths, the observer and assembler bots, they're all the remnants of something much bigger. But that's too long. Ugh, I hate long. So, the remnant. Like, my name's better as Peavy. Thanks for helping with those things. I'm Ryder. You're a mystery. I've been studying those. I saw this tech clear the sky. Huh. All remnant tech. If you wake them up too, they must lead to whatever master switch. You're sure it'll help Eos? I'm a... Imagine leaving all the craziness on the Nexus to be the first settlers here. So much riding on you, and then... This time will be different. Right. This is our element. Pathfinder, I advise caution. Remnant activity may be hostile. Spot is shelter, water, stable ground. 
It was initially overlooked due to heavy kept presence at the nearby remnant structure. But it would be an excellent outpost site. Cat and remnant. Seems you can't. The site one folks were interested in the monoliths too. Did they learn anything? Mostly what you learn the hard way. But hey, now you're here. Well, finding the easy way is no fun. If it's not hard, it. They never really earned it. More remnant bots. These ones don't seem hostile. Research data pathfinder. If you continue to scan and collect this data, we can utilize it to develop new technologies and upgrades for equipment such as your weapons and armor. need to use the interface that controls this. Interface accepted. You should now be able to interface Pathfinder. <laughs> Um, one second. I do not, I barely know how to do this, so I'm just cheating it. Definitely connect. You did good. Keep doing more. Can't drop ship. Seriously? Can't catch a break. We're well, sons of bitches. Hey, come on, let's fight. Go right there. Just thinking the same thing. 
What am I doing if I built a real one of these? Yeah, it cost a pretty penny, but wouldn't that be cool? Remember the early data on EOS back home? And if you Whatever, build a real one of these, H with a bunch of numbers? and make it <laughs> pretty <laughs> much every proof, in office. and sell it, make a pretty heart. penny. Wonder what those worlds really looked like then, and now. facility of some kind. Those assholes took over my best research site. They won't let you near the monolith without a fight. Shuffle incoming. Bring it. Hostiles ahead. I think we're clear. Yeah, so clear. Got the monolith well protected. We'll need to cut that shield's power supply. We're about to meet the second coolest Krogan in Let's history. Let's get to it before there's any more cat. I said second course because I want something fast. You can't. It can't be Rex. No one can. Press the metrics. That was pretty cool. Huh. Well, yeah. Guess it was. Still haven't told me who you are. I'm the Pathfinder. Are you now? You're not the only one. Yeah, bet you're... I've been quads deep on a couple of planets for a yeah. I know... You know... Remnant? Yeah. Seems fun. 
Well, Krogan are always more interesting than other races because of one simple fact. You piss them off, they might snap your neck within five seconds. Or crush your skull under their boot. And if anyone does not believe me, just look at their history. You can't say they're a peaceful old society when they're not. I detect no additional glyphs in the area. Yes! Nice job, Ryder. Done. The monoliths are online and connected to... something in the lake. This could be the master switch we're looking for. I'll meet you there. Don't do anything without me. Technically, we don't even meet her there. She beats us there. Because we have a found her own vehicle, she has a fucking ship. And I'm saying this, if anyone doesn't believe me, I thought the Krogan are more interesting than the other species. Which, which species pretty much almost lost the entire society of Africa, the Krogans. All their collective history is gone. Activating Only a few people remember them. So I think it might be Mine good to learn about the program. I've added them to your nav system. Ever disobeyed an order, Cora? In my soldier days? No. That's kind of the point. Is that mechanical? You never thought about it. Military discipline isn't there to give you something cool to rebel against. In combat, people depend on you being in the place they expect, doing what you're meant to do, or they die. That doesn't mean you're doing the right thing. I know. Well, I'm curious, what would a human Krogan hybrid look like? Look there. Coming out of the lake. The tech's underground, uh, too? I'm Let's curious. see. It's opening up. Mm -hmm. I see a door. Come on! Look. Krogan. Hi, Brady. Jeez, just nothing. Whoa, it's forming a bridge. Let's find out how solid it is. Oh, no, I'll keep that initiate armor for now. I'll probably replace it with the Pathfinder armor once I get enough materials to build it. No. No, this can't be right. 
All that fanfare for an empty room? There's some secret here. There must be. Do your Pathfinder thing. Oh, you're good. That isn't doing anything. How far? I'll let you know. That can't be air pressure. Electrostatic? Ah, uh, gravitation. Oh, you idiot, PB. That wasn't the front door. This is. I'll let you know. Hey! Geronimo? Atmosphere processor, but Pathfinder, a conduit beneath the floor just activated. Fluid is running through it. It could be generating emergency power. Your scanner will have more details. Got anything? There's an element zero threaded through all this tech. Imagine the engineering that would take. Look there, do you see that? Looks like a broken information display. Phrase recovered. Must read to access. This console links to surface facilities. The hint must control the atmosphere processor. No glyphs. It looks dead, or locked down, like most of this place. The fluid conduit leads to this console and further into the vault. So if we follow that conduit, it might lead to the system lockdown. I see the conduit, Sam. Whatever it is, it leads out of the room. I think that gravity well works in reverse, too. Then we have a way out. You're not leaving already, are you? Not until we find those processor controls. Minor corruption detected. The pattern suggests significant data present, but it cannot be accessed. These data pattern things are incredible. If I'm right, each one can hold hundreds of zettabytes. There are whole species who get by with less. No signs of any cat. Maybe they can't get into the vault. But you can. You get their attention. Lucky me. Whatever has this... I do my best work solo. You fix up the vault, I'll invest... You know what? I'm on for... This gravity well sealed off. No way through. Incidentally, a gravity well is the gravitational effect of a large mass in space. This is more accurately... Well, look at this. No way through, no interface points. Hmm. Sam, note it down for later. Com check, it's, well, you know who. We read you, PB. Stay in touch. They dug this place through solid rock. Look up there. Must be how they kept it from collapsing. Looks like a blast shield. That might be handy. Doubt it will look up against anything. What's that liquid? Unable to classify. The only way through is down towards it. An um, unknown alloy and other materials, the composition resembles Omnigel. Maybe that's the fluid in the conduit. It's dead. Nothing. I bet they used it working in that liquid. 
So whatever that liquid is, they need a whole aqueduct of it. Make that two aqueducts, at least. I just crossed one. There's a low hum through everything here. Can you feel it? Remnant! Careful, don't fall in that liquid. It burns through your shields. Found that out the hard way. I already know that. I think this is the first time I've played this game. No, it's not. We're good. Ah, watch yourselves. It burns. My God. All this for an atmosphere processor? What is this place? A very good question, Scott. Another aqueduct. How many do they need? If it really is like Omnigel, that fluid could be what's keeping this place going. Are those rooms down there? Up there! More remnant! <laughs> processor we found before didn't need all these steps. Dad just interfaced with it directly. And it didn't work out so good. Direct intervention was necessary. In that case, we're clearly unwise. Look how high it is. Might be another gravity well? Well sealed. For emergency power, same as before. Better safe than sorry. Take them out. You're sure this well isn't going to open up under us? Pretty sure. Focus on the remnant. This device appears defensive in nature. Interfacing may complete the circuit and allow the world to open. If it gets us to the system lockdown, let's try. The device is online and makes a shield. At least it's friendly. Layers and layers of defenses. If they're defenses. Power restored to the gravity well, the conduit leads down. Conduit fluid pressure is variable. There could be activity below. Then let's dig deeper. Barely any... How old is this place? Unknown. Radiation counts indicate the vault has been offline for several hundred years. Around the time the scourge appeared? 
That can't be a coincidence. Maybe the Scourge is why all this tech was abandoned? Crap. The conduit sprang a leak. Careful. No way you can interface with the console like that. And no fluid means no power. Damn it. Maybe that's why those devices up above were turned off. We're not turning back now. There has to be some way to fix the leak. Just a patch job, but it should hold. Nice work. If it's fixed, that console should work now. Looks like it worked. There's even a bridge. You're a foul rider. Where are you going? We've got to be close to the system lockdown by now. First one gets the glory. We'll catch up. Let's see if we powered up a way out of here. Get across. Just like that. That did it. Watch your step. It's still a long drop. Wait, plants. All the way down here. You see them too. Though all the gravity fun had messed up my eyes. No sunlight, no water. They should all be dead. The source of the system lockdown may yield more information. We appear to be close. Hydraulics compensating. Go wait till they're both on this side before I even attempt to take it down. Prepping for the exit. That bit slippery.
platforms resonating with something. We must be close. No question. This is the heart of all. All conduits converge here, Pathfinder. That must be the lockdown council. Let's pick this bad boy up. Huh. Any thoughts, Sam? Unknown, though it appears related to the lockdown, an in-depth study may reveal its purpose. The system lockdown is disabled. The vault and the atmosphere processor should return to... Right, the whole... really... Should we... Run. Mimi, get back to the entrance now! I saw it! What is that thing? Don't risk it, just go! Watch out! Vents! Sam? Another gravity well! It could go anywhere! It goes away from here! We're taking it! It's still coming! It's sweeping the whole vault! Kills anything in its way! Yeah, like us! Close. That's the door to the entrance. Almost there. It's not close at all. That you know. That's close Almost at all. Clear. Where are you? Hello? Phoebe? What was that field? Might have been sweeping the vault or chasing us. An immune response? Maybe one last scrub before startup? This place is full of surprises. Nothing like outrunning death. Or reactivating a huge mysterious vault. Nice going. 
Atmosphere processor is online. Recovering lost console activity. Is that the Helios cluster? Yeah. There we are. That's Eos. Whoa. Did we start letting the system do that? If that light is us, then all these points could be vaults in other worlds. Dormant like this one. Maybe. But why is there a whole network of them? What's all this for? This tech can create observers from nowhere, or ravage a whole planet. And that's just what we've seen. The bots, those plants back there, the atmosphere processors. Back home, some corporation hit a desert world with an ice calling. They changed the atmosphere to bring rain. To help with support life. That first processor we saw was making things worse, but maybe it malfunctioned. Is that what these builders were trying to do? Make worlds habitable? Even terraformable? Buster? Hey, look there. That's different. Maybe it's active. We've gotta go see. Sam? Extrapolating. These coordinates lie beyond the space we have currently surveyed, Pathfinder. Mark it on our charts. We need more to go on. Let's head up to the surface. I could use some fresh air. Sky. How? No atmosphere processor works that fast. If this effect is rapid, Eos could support an outpost. I want to know what makes the remnant tick. You... Welcome aboard. I only need a data pad, toothbrush, clean underwear. That'll do. Well? Now for our new outpost. I've already logged an idle site. Nav point noted. Updating catalyst. The Nexus is on pins and needles, Ryder. Pods are inbound and ready. Let's go make it happen. I like those pre-trip vision paintings of future EOS. Green fields, rivers, forests. Wonder what it'll really be like down the line. Fewer death storms be nice. We'll get this. Pathfinder is enough to tip the balance. Ahead. They appear to be fighting a Krogan. Is that... Drac? Ha <laughs> ha. 
<laughs> you could really have it. Had your number all wrong. You're not so bad yourself, old man. This fight was pretty good. Still, something tells me. This is gonna... The first colonists sent audio logs about these regions back to the Nexus. And? Fairwinds Basin. Lowest radiation count in the area. Little bit of hope. This prepping to play. The Nexus resources are at a crisis point. With alternatively, a scientific outpost could advance the initiative's research and discoveries. What do you think? Pathfinder's call. It's got to be science. Our colonists be advised that the first outpost played fair or not. Your choice will represent the initiative and its intentions in Andromeda. Consider carefully. Prioritize research and discovery. That board is prepped. Ready on your signal. I'm not gonna get anywhere if we make a military base. I'm gonna go with dives. Andromeda Initiative, this is Ryder. Pathfinder. EOS is ready for deployment. Copy that. Outpost blocked inbound. And ready as hell. August Bradley, operational head for this block. Mayor now, I suppose. We're ready to make the most of what you delivered. I feel like I should toss you the key. Understood. Be aware. That's all. We didn't come to a new... It got us this... Talk to Bradley. Later, we'll go over the extended job of Pathfinder. Until then. Tan's waiting on the Nexus. Well, peace out, party people. I'll see you guys next time. See ya.